Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. Today we're going to show you some underwater footage of butterfly jigs. Butterfly jigs are pretty popular, you can catch a lot of fish on them. Pretty cool, there's a whole lot of techniques and, and different lures and things to use. But we're going to show you some of them, some of the things I've observed when I went down with my scuba gear and had my dad, you know, dropping down butterfly jigs to see what they look like. All right, today we're doing a test on the butterfly jigs with a spinning rod. We're gonna do four tests with this one. Actually, eight tests with this one, four on each one. One, we're gonna drop it down. I'm gonna reel it straight up. So I'm gonna let it go all the way to the bottom. Okay, I'm all the way to the bottom. Now I'm gonna reel it fast up. That's just like straight up with it. Number three. Do one more like straight up, and then we're gonna jig the next four. Alright, so number four. Okay now. That's a straight up reel. Now we're gonna do the jig method. Okay, you ready? Reef donkey. When you just at six or seven hundred foot, then you're wore out. That's one. I'm not sure I'll be able to get a sixteen of these bad boys. Alright, you ready? Let me pop that bad boy right out of the water. There you go, that's two. It's gonna be a conventional reel, so we'll see what difference it makes with that. Got it on high speed retrieve, so it should come up pretty quick. Ready? That's one. We're gonna try to snatch and jig method. Now this jig, we also dropped down on a go fish cam. I want to get another angle, see how it looked, you know, going down deeper water. Dropping it down, there wasn't a lot of fluttering with this particular one, and maybe it was because I had the go fish cam and didn't allow it to go down as quickly. When we start popping it, you know, jigging it up really quick, you can see it kind of flutter, had that little twisty motion, kind of fluttering effect. When I was reeling it really fast, you could also see this as well, but you definitely have to get it moving to get that fluttering effect. Otherwise it just kind of, you know, goes to the water. It doesn't look as attractive to fish. It doesn't have that exciting fluttering, flashing motion. Even on one of the drops though, you can see 
you know, some of the fish come and check it out. Um, these fish weren't as big, so why I don't think they uh, were able to get hooked up. But um, it'd be pretty cool to see how some amberjack, you know, take to this. They seem to really like these flashy jigs. You know, the motion, the speed, the flash. Um, amberjack get real excited at jigs like this. It's pretty cool. I'm going to do some more practicing with butterfly jigs. Um, definitely see if I can catch some more underwater footage, but I want to kind of show you this. Um, give you guys an idea of what it looks like. And uh, if you learn anything from this, if this kind of correlates with any particular strategy of jigging versus straight, real, and fast, you know, let, let me know what you guys do and find the most success with in your technique. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Real Hazardous.